surfs up along the Florida panhandle, and Sunday, beach lovers saw blue skies and no signs of Tropical Storm Isaac. But residents have their eyes on the sprawling storm, and the National Hurricane Center has issued a hurricane warning for a wide swath of the northern Gulf Coast. Some residents are taking steps to protect their property. I am helping my friend Pat work on his, or board up his beach house, uh, just in case. Hurricane Isaac makes its way over here. It's still a tropical storm, and as it churned its way past the Florida Keys, it may have packed high winds and heavy rains, but it didn't stop revelers in Key West from enjoying a party. We had two people who didn't come as a result of the storm, four people who had to leave early for work, and the rest of the 18 are here. Meteorologists think the storm could intensify and make landfall as a Category 2 hurricane somewhere between New Orleans and the Florida Panhandle by Wednesday. And that has leaders along the Gulf Coast worried. While the track of the storm may change, it is important for Mississippians to take this storm seriously. We see strong temperatures in the Gulf in the mid-80s. There's not a lot of shear out there, and so what you're seeing is there really aren't any inhibiting factors between this storm and Louisiana's coast. More than 550 flights were canceled at Miami International Airport Sunday. There were also scattered power outages in South Florida and some flooding in low-lying areas. But Governor Rick Scott said not much damage. Before reaching Florida, Isaac was blamed for seven deaths in Haiti and two more in the Dominican Republic. It also downed trees and power lines in Cuba. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.